First speaker is the Chief Executive Officer of the Center for Newcomers. They have spearheaded programming to include volunteer-led refugee support, indigenous in integration for newcomers, LGBTQ plus and youth programs. Please welcome Anila Lee Yen. Okay, so I was told that I'm supposed to adjust the mic and also do something here so that Donovan, who is on the slides, will know specifically that I'm not just pretending. So two years ago, before I turned 40, I wanted to say I did something spectacular to be 40, and so what I did was I joined martial arts. And uh, I'm at Western Canada Martial Arts Academy with the lineage of Bruce Lee, and so I'm going to do our salute, so it's very obvious to Donovan that I'm pressing this button. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> There we go. So, my name is Anila like tequila, not Anila like vanilla. I'm fairly certain that that no vanilla has nothing to do with what I meant it to mean today. If you don't know that, you should probably look it up because I just found out when I was looking for no vanilla. So, I work at the Center for Newcomers. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to work with people with diverse backgrounds, ideas, ways of thinking and being, and it's that foundation of pluralism that is what I'm most passionate about. And as you can see, I came from a very loving home with parents who took many next steps in their lives to provide the best they could for my brother and I. They immigrated, immigrated in the 1970s and just like many immigrants had many struggles. Um, from identity, friends, status, all of the different things that many newcomers for generations have faced. But their sacrifices, their courages, and their advocacy, like many immigrants before them, paved the way for better resources and acceptance and integration of the next generation of immigrants to follow, like my husband here, Stefan, who immigrated from Trinidad about 15 years ago. As you can see, because of the people who came before me, my life has been filled with accolades and successes at different parts of my life. I've traveled the world, learned new skills, made lots of friends, and have experienced things other people tell me that they only dream of. And I feel very privileged, and I understand that privilege very well. Effectively, I was my parents next. I was able to provide for them the stories of immigration success in Canada a validation that all of their hard work paid off. Well, on social media anyways. Internally, it was very, very different. When I was 20, in year two of university, I was diagnosed with chronic depression. Truthfully, I knew something was wrong since the time I was 14. And that year, in 1998, my whole life fell apart. I wasn't able to cope with anything. And really, none of the accolades I had ever received meant anything. I was having a hard time just surviving. Getting up in the morning was very hard to do, and I had an overwhelming sense that I was letting everyone in my life completely and utterly down, and I was a big failure. And honestly, that feeling never goes away. It's with me right now. By all accounts, I have a good life, but that ugly depression monster inside of me, it's always telling me that I don't. I'm not good enough, I don't deserve good things, and yes, sometimes it even convinces me that I should just die. And I always thought, one of the things lacking in my life that I hope for for the next generation after me were role models that look like me. Strong, proud, intelligent women, South Asian women who I could look up to that I could identify with. And just not for children of Indian descent, but for all children, indigenous, settler, newcomer, and all the in-betweens to see themselves represented in all aspects of our society. And I know every generation, we do get a lot better at it, and we're starting to see a lot more of that representation in our leaders. Okay, maybe we have a little bit of work to do. <laughs> But we're getting there, slowly, and surely, absolutely. The rest of my slides, you are going to see community members on my social media feed that I creeped doing great things. 
You will also see youth in my life that I have great hopes and dreams for. And that's because I often get asked a question. People say, Anila, what can I do to help? They typically mean volunteering or advocacy for newcomers, something along those lines. Or they say, what's the next trend or the big needs for or with newcomers? And I say the same thing I'm going to say to all of you today. The best thing you can do is be present for young people and be vulnerable for young people. I made the mistake when I look back at my life in thinking I needed more role models that look like me. And yes, of course, it is important to have proportional representation in our leaders, in government, media, arts, all of those things. Of course, it's extremely important. But what I didn't realize was that I had role models that looked like me in my life, that were doing amazing, extraordinary things. They were my parents, aunts and uncles, congregation members at my mosque, my neighbors. The only difference was they just weren't famous. And although I saw all of their accomplishments and knew quite obviously they looked like me, I still longed for role models that looked like me. And I'm not certain, but I think I know why. The famous role models I longed for to look like me had biographies, insights into their lives that I could look at. And they weren't filled with just good things. They included all of the rough patches, all of the struggles, all of the mistakes. So when I heard that, I felt akin. I thought, huh, they can have all of those issues make so many mistakes and still be successful. My parents never made any mistakes like that. My mom now laughs that I thought that. And so I thought maybe there's hope for me. Maybe I can be successful too. So I leave you with a question. Regardless of your current age, what will you do next to impact the young people in your life? How will you document your struggles in your life? And will you have the courage to share them? Because most people don't. And it would make a world of a difference to the younger people in your life if you did. It sure would have helped me. Thank you. Woo!